Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we are on the Naval Academy in Destroy a Full Flay Fleet. The enemy fleet possesses two Super Dreadnoughts, a state of our battle cruiser, and numerous support ships. Six is numerous, apparently. You have some money to invest on building a fleet of a single warship type. Will you build a few strong battleships, some fast battle cruisers, or maybe several more cheaper ships? They have two battleships, one battle cruiser, one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, three destroyers. We can design pretty much anything we want, almost. We have plenty of money to do. I could only imagine what a fleet of destroyers would look like, actually. Yeah. That would be a lot of destroyers. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to command that many ships, and I'm all, I'm all about the big guns. Always have been. Sink 70% of the enemy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. So we need 6 at a minimum. Um, and we're looking at plus 20 tech on some of this. Which, that puts us pretty advanced. Oh, max explosives. Yeah, I, it's going to be hard to take maneuverability and survivability under these conditions. It's going to have to be the guns. All right, here we are again. Everything interface seems to be running pretty smoothly. I'm starting to suspect a memory leak. But I'll put that to the side for now. A couple battle cruisers to choose from, and a really big dreadnought. Who doesn't like a really big dreadnought? Battle cruiser has much, much better hull form, though. So, let's see if we can take what we did last time and run with it. They'll get turbines, which is great. Oil, horse, prop 3, which is plenty. Heavy, but not super heavy. Get TNT. And it's loading. Electro Hydro, fast torpedoes, 19 inch size. We'll go for the long range gunnery. And I am going to want. New thing. Three inch deck, two inch extended. 13 inch conning tower. Three inch turret top and six inch secondaries, probably. So we don't get as advanced a tower as last time. How is this going to look barbet wise? Looks like we can put four turrets on this all together. Secondary, oh, oh, actually we can put five, much like we did just now. But they won't be 14. Oh, we can fit a 14. Fit a 15. The 15 on the aft one, the forward one, not so much. So, I am thinking... We could bump it up to a 14, but I think 13's worked very well last time. We can do... 13s again. We 
the offset again. Could do uh, four thirteens and then just to offset that forward. Single eighteen monster turret. Because we can. Who needs another reason? That's absolutely ridiculous. Sure, why not? If we can get this up to 36 knots. We can throw in barbet protection. Anti torp protection. Ooh, that's very heavy. Double hull. Okay, that's not so bad. Reinforced bulkheads. Anti flooding. Citadel, getting pretty heavy. I don't think we're going to have an ammo detonation. Pump up the belt extended. Looking at Yeah, I find that pretty reasonable. And we'll get two of them. We have a lot of money we haven't spent, and I have not picked a funnel out. Well shoot. Do the standard funnel. Where's that put us? Twenty two per cent. That's not enough. About a large funnel. Thirty three. We could do three large funnels. One there and one there. And then we're going to throw in our casemates. I think they're going to be 6 inch. Because those are pretty good at smaller targets. Now... Now I have to reduce the belt extended. Ooh, I need to do more than that. Six inch protection will need at least three, let's say, for the secondaries. Protect against six inches. We can do that. We we'll also do geared turbines. That'll save us a little bit of weight. We can reduce the citadel. Like the anti flood, we can get rid of the double hull. Bring anti flood down to two. And then 35 knots. There we go. She's an ugly duckling. How's her longitudinal? Oh, that's so bad. Forward weight is pretty heavy. Could go down to two funnels, lose the barbette. Let's see, if we had 22, 25, 75, 67 and a half. Mm 
grab the 13, put it here. Lose the barbette. Then we can move our 18 inch monstrosity slightly forward. Or we can just put another 13 inch on there. I'm inclined for that. That 18 inch is so silly. There we go. Now we have a well balanced battle cruiser that is fast. In fact, we can go back to 36. Has plenty of armor. Plenty of armor mint. And we get two of them. Let's go. Spotted to the east. Oh, let's turn around then. Tighten up ranks. Uh, check the game guide. Eh, we'll get back to that. All right, let's go find them. We have two and a half hours to destroy the enemy. Oh yeah, how's the weather? Minus 20% due to condition. Now we're coming up in speed. Smoke spotted east. They may or may not have spotted us, but they have some long range shots. Those are highly inaccurate. Oh, 18 inch hit. You weren't kidding about modern. I am not protecting against 18 inch shells. Oh, to the northeast. I see shells coming from the east. I'm going to keep going that way. Seventeen and eighteen inch hit. I'm extremely concerned that we might not be able to penetrate. Definitely need to get closer to get within our immunity zone. This is bad. All right, let's select the Minerva. Have her turn in. I'll go directly after that one. Then I think the Massagier is going to go after whoever this one is. Mm -hmm. 
there's one hit, 17 inch. This one's running 17 inch in the pairs. These are the triples, which I assume are 18. This, I assume, is the battle cruiser. This, I assume, is the battleship. We're out about 10 kilometers right now. 4% chance to hit. 6% for this one. There's a 12 inch hit. Oh, there's one of the 18s. Hit there. Again. Bow extended. Couple more hits. 17 inch hit that bounced. We're in our relative immunity zone. left a little bit more. Yeah, those are 17 inch coming from over here. And we've lost a turret. Let's keep coming left. Both to expose more of our primary armament. Oh, full penetration by a 17 inch. And also to angle our armor a little bit better. Oh, oh, it's bad. We have these identified now. Oh, those are both battleships. Battle cruiser, then. All right, there's our salvo. A terribly effective one. Uh, angle in, and time for a two kilometer shot. The 17 inch hurts. See how this next 13 inch goes. Oh, we didn't even get to use it. Wow. Well, that was fairly brutal.
I don't think I need uh, any more uh, 13 inch. In fact, those 18 inch are starting to look really good. I can't even fit them on this thing. Or we instead we can do 18 inch mark one. Oh yeah, we don't want the the 18 inch. 17 inch. Can't fit there. Take that there. And we'll stick 15s in those three locations. Or four. That puts her overweight. I just go up to 15s. Significant change in damage, but I think I am going to just do 50. Right there. Have the geared turbines, oil force. I want the fire protection. Keep that. Drop the citadel. Do want the enhanced loading. The turrets just don't cost that much. Maybe reduce the ammo. Uh, can I do to reduce some? Going with a full all or nothing strategy. How much penetration does the 18 have? We're looking at 8 inches on the deck. 26 on the belt. I'm close to being able to handle the belt and the deck. Engine capacity is not actually that good. That's a 73%. Let's do a regular large one over there. It gets us 200 front. About wide. About a medium. About a uh, wide some. Now we're starting to get limited so we'll go back to the medium funnel then I just need to lose a little bit of weight somewhere we'll do the extended deck all right Let's see what a pair of power cruisers like this do I anticipate poor things though we really just plussed up the the turrets our offensive firepower All right I took a hit 14 inch. There we go. Now we can see him.
bounce. 16 inch hit. Came from over there. Let's head them off the pass. I think this guy is closest. Seven kilometers. We'll try to take them out first. We're gonna have to find out where those 16 inch guns are and take care of them. that matters much for the deck armor, or as much. Okay, we got a hit. No significant damage, because uh, they're six inch. Coming to the right, some. There we go. Fifteen inch hits, too. chance to hit. Four turrets worth. One of those got to hit. Yep, partial penetration. You can come right slightly. Looking at five kilometers right now. There, we took a 16 inch hit and it was not as bad. And a full salvo, one penetration. Last mission, and I felt immune. That's why I certainly don't. And a couple more bounces. A couple partial pens. Oh, we took a received a penetration. These guys are getting within three kilometers. Fifth targets. the torpedo. Hard right.
I'm back left now. Oh, I took a full hit on that one. Where was that? That was a pretty brutal set. Battlecruiser is using 15s, 14s on the battle, one of the battleships, 16s on the other. There we go. Crippled with one of the destroyers. Is our first battle cruiser. And a couple six inch hits. the rest of the salvo. Shift our rudder. Take a four penetrating 14 inch. Rochelle's hard. Do the triples. Yeah, we're getting minus 20 for the triple stack. There we go. There's the 16 inch guns. Oh, too late. Just took a salvo. And massive fire. Well then. I have to switch to a dreadnought. I want this to be maximum protection. Go for the best we can get. Gonna be heavy. Care. Anti flooding, full citadel. We want heavy shells. Actually, maybe we don't. Now, the better penetration is really not so. I'm going to use TNT. Yeah, TNT it is. Finish torpedoes, we want. I'm actually going to use a coincidence rangefinder. We even add in a nice new radio. I think the size guns I'm considering will fit on that that conning tower. Let's see. What do we got? Yeah, I didn't think so. Don't want it to be too small. And that, that really adjusts the aiming speed and the long range accuracy and the base accuracy. And for the rear, not as much, and it makes a difference. Let's just do max and see how it works out. Don't worry, 
about the funnels yet. Let's see what this looks like. I have to offset for now. Then we'll stick the 13s on there. Because the 13s have been working out rather well for us. Especially as they fire once a minute. These 18 inch do not. Throw in the casemates. We'll continue to be the six inch. We have 18, 13, 6. We want some eights. Stick some eights in here somewhere. I think that's a little bit. Too much though. Throw in the single torpedo and we'll get our funnels going. Let me do a single funnel. And and forced help so much. We need a little bit more than the large funnel. Advanced funnel will work just fine. Single advanced funnel. Meanwhile, we're looking for a four inch deck, I think. Now we're overweight. Where did the torpedo protection? I'm not too concerned about that. the proper funnels this time. That's almost everything needed. What can we ditch? Not worried about ammo detonation. Like the extra resistance. Flooding, I'm not too worried about. There we go. And a little bit more for the secondaries. Get them almost as well protected as the primaries, which is absolutely ridiculous, but they mean business on this mission.
I'm going with a single battleship, and we'll see how that works. I'm anticipating not so well. Wait, how much would these be? 600 tons each. We'll leave the 8 inch out of it then. We'll count on the 6 inch casemates. Forward offset is 5.3%. Perfectly balanced. Let's see how this works out. And then I'm probably going to have to uh, quit for the day. Northwest. That happens to be the direction we're headed. Just took a 13 inch round. Kidding. A lot more than smoke spotted in that direction. I think they're traveling right to left. Flight malice to aiming. May work to our advantage. There's a 12 inch hit that did a little bit of damage. 14. There we go. First sighting. There's the 18 inch. Heard that. Come down in speed. There we go. There's the destroyer, one of them. One more ship at 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers, 11, 6, and 7, and 8. I'm going to stay focused on these destroyers to start. Not too surprising with a 2% chance. Now 3. About to use the 18s, but oh well. There's the 13s again. Looks good, but no. Start coming left. I'm a little bit worried about how close they're getting. Been four kilometers, approaching three. Actually, go for 20 degrees. 12 inch hit on a funnel, of course. Oh, there's the torpedoes. Up the engine. Stop! Oh, it's bad. We're about to take a bunch of torpedoes. 
Yeah, I waited too long on that one. percent chance to hit with the 13 inch guns not too bad our rudders damage not sure if that means we're stuck in this turn yeah it looks like so they repair that inch guns, 13 inch guns, 14 inch gun. Oh come on, I want one of these 18 inch guns to hit the destroyers. is still working. It hasn't fired recently. How bad is this maneuver? Not bad. I don't know why they haven't fired. And the next set of torpedoes. Looks like we have rudder control again. You can see it slowly moving to the right. This is basically your rudder angle indicator from here to here. Heavy rain today. Book times three. things. There goes 
say teams. Oh yeah, we got one of the destroyers. 5,200 damage. Just bring the rudder midships, see how that works out. And we're down with a six inch. Thirteens look wide. Oh, unfortunate, missed with the eighteens. on that one. Can't quite see it. Yeah, that was a 14 inch hit. Partial pen. Getting a lot of partial penetrations and they're doing very little damage. set of torpedoes. That mean they're out? Oh, that one has a lot of torpedoes. That one does as well. So hard right rudder. Getting a little close to these destroyers again. We don't have the maneuverability we used to. A couple hits. Oh, come on, that totally hit them. Destroyed one of the torpedo launchers. That'll help out. Torpedoes, but we destroyed another torpedo launcher. Excellent. That means we can close with them. Trading 12 inch. Proving we can't sit here all day. Ah, there we go. That was a good hit. There 
go. That's a destroyer down. Two destroyers down now. We want to shoot at the battle cruiser. 13 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch is over there. That destroyer is no longer a threat. Cruiser is. Actually, both cruisers are. Let's focus on the Duquesne. Nope, and we lost visibility. We'll accelerate time until we get visibility back. Blinking away at us. That was a penetrating hit. Now we can see him again. Kesney as well, so that's the one we want to fire at. Move back down to times three speed. Yeah, that was the tower, it didn't really matter. 13 inch hit though. Teams. Got a couple heads on the Duquesne. There's the 18, that one looks wide. Thirteens, we got hits again. Four kilometers of that. Have they fired their torpedoes yet? They have. Not fire thirteens. There we go. A good hit. I'll make them easier to hit with a follow-up shot on the 18s. Oh, we just took a torpedo. Wasn't paying attention, didn't see it coming in. The 13s did the follow-up shot for the cruiser. Successful though. Twenty six percent chance, and they they missed with everything. Funnel, 
That was already too long ago. Not worried about that one. Okay, that was a hit. Our 13's off. 20% chance. And our 18. And 13's aren't doing much. Okay, we damaged the main gun. Something. Jeez. Another torpedo head that I didn't see. These guys got torpedoes on them. Uh, the Mirabao does. Fortunately, I think this is the ride of the Valkyries. Come on, 18 inch. Ah, oh, jeez. Rounding them. Additional damage to the engine. Thirteens. Short range. Ineffective. Now the 18s. Okay, we managed to penetrate. Didn't do that much though. Decent hit. Rather disappointed in the 18s at this point. But that's all the time I have today. We'll have to fix that, tweak it a little bit, get it to where it needs to be. I could go with more smaller ships, but I, I like being able to tank like that. The single dreadnought worked. Mark armoring scheme worked remarkably well. Not against 18s if we encounter those again. But still worked well. Yeah, that's supposed to be a tanky dreadnought. Or is this one supposed to be a bit faster? Just looking at the resistance and hull form. But we can fix all that on another day. I'm out of time for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for staying to the end. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care.